South China Morning Post, 2nd of December 2022 Coal and China bets on risk fee chips in the technology arms race to get around U.S. technology export limitations. Globally, China has been stealing technology. It has been challenging to steal the technology to create chips, though. The United States responded by defending the crown jewels of chip manufacturing from Chinese theft and espionage. As the U.S. tightens its controls over the transfer of cutting-edge chip technologies and equipment to Chinese companies, China is banking on an open-source chip design architecture that can help the country attain semiconductor self-sufficiency. In an indication of China's accelerating efforts to move away from mainstream chip design standards controlled by Western businesses, 11 Chinese semiconductor companies unveil their newest chips based on the so-called RISC-V architecture earlier this week at an industry event. According to the China RISC-V Industry Consortium, a consortium made up of regional RISC-V startups and Shanghai-based integrated circuit IC, design contractor Very Silicon Holdings, the new U.S. technology-based RISC-V chips reflect China's advanced level of integrated circuit IC, designs. The University of California, Berkeley's fifth-generation RISC-V computer is open source, meaning the source code is freely accessible to the general public. On the other hand, the British company ARM is in charge of the design architecture for most smartphone chips worldwide. At the same time, U.S. tech behemoth Intel Corporation is responsible for x86, the predominant chip design architecture for desktop and laptop computers. Shanghai started RISC-V development first in the nation as China works to lessen its reliance on foreign technologies. The city provided particular financial incentives to entice businesses to build RISC-V processors and associated intellectual property IP, cores in July 2018 as part of a bigger plan to strengthen its semiconductor sector. The new chips announced on Wednesday are intended for various uses, including wireless communications, energy management, and personal computers PCs, with some businesses claiming to have made significant technological advancements. As a result of a partnership with the premier risk fee firm in the world, C5, Star5 was established in Shanghai in 2018. The Chinese manufacturer claimed that its latest offering uses 12 nanometer process nodes and intends to be the first RISC-V processor in the world to work with mainstream laptop and micro PC applications. The company claims that its new RISC-V central processing unit (CPU) is intended to directly benchmark against ARM's Cortex A76, which was released in 2018. The latest communication chip from Shanghai-based Artisan, the AR8030 is the first 150M 7GHz full-band wireless system on a chip, according to the company. It is based on a RISC-V CPU core created by D-Head, an internal semiconductor division of Alibaba Group Holding. The owner of the South China Morning Post is Alibaba. Another chip design company with headquarters in Shanghai, Time Centralite Technology, claimed that certain of its RISC-V processors could compete with ARM's Cortex-M and Cortex-R. According to corporate experts, Several of these chips are anticipated to hit the market next year. According to Wayne Dai, founder and chairman of Very Silicon, the transition from the research and development stage to mass manufacturing and shipment will signal an important milestone. According to Dai, most of the 10 RISC-V chips unveiled at the summit the previous year are currently in mass production, with cumulative shipments exceeding 10 million units. However, given their low quality and limited suitability for the Internet of Things applications, these chips Although RISC-V offers China a chance to enter the CPU design industry, the nation still significantly relies on IP cores created by US and British companies. Shortly, RISC-V will primarily be used in smart home appliances, wearable technology, security cameras, automotive electronics, and industrial robots, all in high demand in China and are built using low-end IoT technology.